welcome 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 to this channel for need biology today we shall discuss about the chromosomal theory of inheritance that is how the chromosomes that is the factors or genes are related that is according to the Sutton and Bovary and Mendel Mendel proposed that the factors he used the term factors is transferred from one generation to the next generation so what was actually the factors it was not clear during the time of Mendel but along with the progression of the science it was gradually clear that it is nothing but genes so chromosomal theory of inheritance is actually a theory which is proposed which proposed that how the genes or factors present in one individual is transferred to the next how it is transferred and how the genes or factors from one generation to transfer to the next generation along with the chromosome physically attached to the chromosome how the genes or factors present in the parental generation is transferred to the next generation during the formation of gamete sorry along with the formation of gametes that is along with the gametes they are transferred so the what are these factors these factors are gradually known as genes present on the physically attached or present on chromosomes so when factors are transferred along according to Mendel factors are transferred from one generation to the next so the uh, genes or factors are transferred from one generation to the next so chromosomes are also transferred so it is actually synthetic theory where chromosomal theory of segregation chromosomal theory of transfer from one generation to the next generation is attached with the theory of inheritance that is how chromosomes are attached with the gene and along with the transfer of the chromosomes as you know that during the formation of gametes during the formation of gametes from body cell chromosomes are transferred to the gametic cells by the process of meiosis and in a uh, meiotic cells in the gametes the genes or factors are present where it is physically attached to the chromosome so let's see how the genes or factors are transferred from parental generation to the next generation from parental generation to the next generation through gametes so it is a very clear and it needs a clear concept that chromosomes are transferred from one generation to the next generation and during the transfer during its journey it carries chromosome carries the factors or genes that determine the traits so let's start the chromosomal theory of inheritance in this case first I have discussed here the common meiotic process what is actually meiosis in this case the first cell first body cell is deployed and here two set of chromosomes are there two set of chromosomes are there two pair of chromosome one pair is from parent one pair is from parent another pair is from this pair this pair is from one parent and this pair is for another parent so these two chromosomes from one parent and this two chromosomes from another parent so this is a pair this is one pair this is a homo homologous pair this is a homologous chromosome pair the chromosomes are present on a deployed cell the 2n is equal to 4 4 number of chromosomes is there and 2c carbon is double okay double carbon is present okay 2c now during the meiosis first what happened g1 phase that is okay in a g2 phase DNA replication already occurred 
as you know then the cell cycle g1 s and g2 so in during the s phase dna synthesis already occurred so after the dna synthesis each chromosome is longitudinally divided each chromosome is longitudinally divided to form two chromatids so now the chromosomes now each chromosome is along with its is present along with its two chromatids that is one chromatid and another is one other chromatid so chromosomes are divided and dna is replicated so now here the chromosome number will be the same although chromosome has already been divided longitudinally but they remain attached at the point of centromere so why the number of chromosome here is 4 number of chromosome is 4 that is same that is 2n is equal to 4 it is a 2n cell diploid cell because it has the 4 number of chromosomes and here the carbon copy carbon number is increased to 4 4c so after the dna synthesis all the material all the carbon content is doubled hmm? dna replication the carbon content is doubled so why 4c is termed is 4 carbon here the 2c and dna replication occurred that is each chromosome longitudinally divided divided longitudinally to form 4 two chromatids of each chromosome so in this way it is occurred and during the meiosis 1 that g1 s g2 and m phase meiotic 1 phase that is metaphase 1 and uh, in the, during the metaphase 1 and anaphase what happened the here the these are spindle fiber attached to the centromeric region and total number of chromosome here the cell is divided cell will be divided in this case half number of chromosome will go in that direction half number of chromosome will go that direction as a result the two cell is first developed after the anaphage one meiosis one so during this phase as a result that is that two cell is developed and now each cell is now contain two chromosomes here the two, one chromosome two chromosome these are two chromosome already chromosome is divided all but it is two chromosome because centromere is same so it is actually a huh, haploid first after the first meiotic division haploid occurs we know it so these are n number of two that is two number of chromosome is present in the cell and 2c here the carbon copy so here again 2c so up to um, anaphage 1 before anaphage 1 it is 4c but after anaphage 1 huh, during the it is 2c and anaphase 2 will carry on in this case then after anaphage then anaphase 2 meiotic 2 and anaphase 2 perform after the performance of anaphase 2 each chromosome that chromosomes are again aligned in that way and microtubules we attach to the centromeric region again and separate the chromatids now separate the chromatids now into different pole and here the cell will divide in that direction so that each cell will divide into two so one chromatid two chromatid this two chromatid is present here and these two chromatid will go here and in this way these two chromatid is present here here and these two chromatid is present here so in that way the four gametes is produced and each gamete contain n is haploid number of chromosome that is two it was four so half number of chromosome that is haploid number of chromosome is two all in this case and carbon copy is also haploid here that is one c one c one c so in that way meiosis occurs now chromosomal theory of inheritance means that during the transfer of chromosomes during the transfer of chromosomes or during the transfer of traits chromosomes are also transferred or during the transfer of chromosomes traits are or traits or factors that is the factors or genes are also transferred trait determining factors or genes are also transferred along with the chromosome it is the theory so how can we prove it that is how the traits how the uh, factors or genes are transferred along with the chromosome how should we prove it so let's hear the here the round yellow set and here the wrinkled green set in case of round yellow we know that the genotype is rr and double double these are both dominant and these are recessive traits so what happened in this case r in this case if we consider this cell as a d cell so it is also 2n is equal to 4 and 2c is there so in this case what happened each each factor that is each gene r gene that is round gene is present here and along the homologous region of another chromosome here and y will be in that region 
so r r y y so this seed this cell uh, this cell this diploid cell contain capital r capital r capital y capital a combination how it is present because we know that mendenial traits present in single chromosome not in same chromosome so this trait this factor this factor this gene will present in one chromosome and this one will be present in another chromosome so in that way they will present and after dna synthesis what will happen these factors or genes are present here and they will divide longitudinally chromosome divide longitudinally in that direction and in this way it is divided so here the two individual four cell like that and during meiosis one it is divided cell is divided here first cell division occur meiotic division after meiotic division two haploid gametes produced two haploid cells produced and during the, during this haploid cell that is these r containing and this y containing chromosomes are present here and this r and this y chromosome present will be there present will be here and the, after the metaphage 2 that r these chromosomes are again chromatids are separated as a result of chromatid separation two cell will develop and during two cell contain r and r this r y r y in the gamete and this r y in the gamete in that way in the same way the small r and small y genes or factors are transferred to the next to the gamete so now gamete contain the this factors of genes gametic chromosomes contain this factors of genes so in this way we can conclude that that the factors of genes present on a diploid cell is transferred to the gametic cell along with the chromosomes so here if we cross this these two what will happen the ry gamete and this type of gamete only this type of gamete will be produced in this case so all the gametes are of ry 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 and small ry small ry this type no deviation is here so all the gametes all the gametes contain the factors so gametes contain chromosome chromosome contain factors the genes so the chromosomal theory of inheritance is established so in this case in f1 what happened here the small these are amalgamated that is r and r and yy they are again is paired aligned in that way so along with the transfer of the chromosomes the factors or genes are transferred to the gamete it is proved by sutton and brovery it is a it is a synthetic theory where chromosomal theory is transferred that segregation of chromosome is transferred is attached with the inheritance factors that is transfer of genes or factors from one generation to the next generation so this two synthetic theory is attached here along that is how uh, the traits or fact uh, traits uh, uh, sorry traits determining factors or genes are transferred along with the chromosomes along with the chromosomes during the formation of gametes so this one is very important chromosomal theory of inheritance you have to just i think that it will help you to understand okay thank you